Hi, here at Rosedale. It's been a while since I've done a video, so I thought rather than take lots of individual photos for people of everything that we've got for sale at the moment, I can just have a bit of a walk around and show you all what we've got, and it'll be a tour as well. You can see how everything's doing. So I've started off on the micro miniature citron silkies, which we actually haven't got any available at the moment, but we're very pleased to report that they are laying and we have just started to hatch some chicks. So potentially in three or four months time, more four months, we might have some available to fill back orders that we've got for people. As you can see, there's Charles in the middle and we've got four hens. Should I come over a bit closer? There's sort of a, a chick colour forever. These two have been outside, so they're a bit paler. And these ones just got moved in from... You're a bit darker, aren't you? <laughs> That's it. Show us your girls, Charles. There you are. So these are completely fully grown, they're tiny. I know you haven't really got anything to sort of uh, scale them by, but they're very, very small, aren't you, Charles? Small on size, not on ego. Then next, over here, we've got the blue splash silkies. Now these are in Bantam. Here we go, so these are all European bloodline. This is Dave in the middle. He's our breeding cockerel. You can see there's a wide selections of hens in here as well. There's lots of hens available in these. Are you all right, love? Yeah? It's a little bit dark. I can't quite see your face. But must have... If anybody wanted to sort of six or seven of these, we could easily spare them at the moment. So that's Blue Splash Silkies Purebred in Bantam. Lots of hens available at the moment. If I come over to this one, this next one's the Cuckoo Silkies. Now, Dad's going to do a bit of lighting in here for me because it's been a little bit dark in these pens. Another reason that I haven't really had so much video, but that's a really good torch. So, this is the Cuckoo Silkies. There's just, it's two cockles and one hen, but she is laying and we've got, again, the first eggs are in the incubator. So, four or five months time, there'll be some of these available. These will be a bit of a wait. This is sort of our smallest scale at the moment. He's all quite happy in there, aren't you? So that's phantom sized cuckoo silkies. Keep going. Next, we have lavender silkies, also in bantam. We've got a few hens available, but a lot of these are just sort of chick size in here. What I've been doing is I've put all the colours together, but they're not all necessarily the same age. So there's actually only two or three laying hens in here and one of those is Pat and she's sat in the corner. So these are lavender silkies in Bantam again. There's the cockerel. That's her. So this is the breeding cockerel. So if anybody wants to see parentage, that's your man. See all good uh, bearded, palms, black skin, blue cheeks. He's the dollies, aren't you? Again, all European. We don't have any American silky. It's all just European. So if we keep going, I've got to give you a little look at some of the baby chicks just because they're here. So we've got a mixture of the colours in here. We've got some reds, some whites, some partridge. Is there a couple of Siamese in there? Maybe somewhere. Lots of whites. It's all about just whatever's laying at the time. These ones are all about three weeks old. Baby's two, two, three weeks old. We've got lots of goats in the background. We're not really doing about goats today though, are we? They're just showing the silkies mostly. So next, this is another dark pen, so this is a good one to uh, have the light in. Another reason I'm going to show, this is the red silkies. So this is Teddy, the breeding cockerel. And then Ruby somewhere, she's our breeding hen. And then we've just got a, so another set of um, hens coming up to point a lair. But Teddy's not their dad. And then the next bunch that are a bit younger, Teddy is all of their dad. And that's when we'll have some of these to sell. These are, again, not available right now. But once these smaller birds over in the corner start to grow up... Can you the torch over there? There we go. Once these ones are uh, old enough to sell, then we will have some available. There's Teddy again. So these are, these are high-quality reds. Originally, these have got French blood lines in them, but they're all bearded, big poms, which is hard to get on a red. There we go. So that's the red silkies. Again, in, in bantam, but they're, they're on the larger size of bantam, to be honest. 
got to show you the rest. So we've got all the girls here. It's not really about goats today, but we'll give you a snuggle anyway. Yeah. Oh, just get the life out, yeah? Hey, Luna. Hey, Luna, Luna, Luna. Are you being gorgeous? Are you being extra gorgeous? Yeah, it's tough, isn't it? Tough being gorgeous. And we've got Ted and Clark and Ali. Then these are better to show you. We've got two sets of the Siamese. These are the ones that are for sale. So these are micro miniature Siamese silkies. There's an egg there, and there's an egg as well. Where's the egg? Over in the corner. Oh, on the far one. So there's these are all there's just the one cockerel in here, and then everybody else's hens. These are available as well. These are micro miniature Siamese silkies. So you might look at these and think, oh, that looks a bit unusual compared to a normal silky. They're quite rare. And what it is is they have lucid skin rather than black skin, which actually makes them easier to sex slightly younger because the cockerels always have a red comb. But you see all the little hens we've got available and the little eggs they lay. If I can show you, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a full size egg. But they all hatch well, we do well with these. You've been uh, doing all right, haven't you? There we go. A few of the hens in the corner are a bit young there, but we've got lots that are old enough. So if anybody would like some micro miniature Siamese silkies, Rosedale's place to come and get them. <laughs> I'll give that egg to you. Right, now we're going to go outside. We're not going to need the torch anymore because we're going to have some light. Aren't we, girls? Are you crying? Thinking I've got something. So we come back along through all of these. Most of the silkies are actually outside. It's just that it was easy to... Oh, this is Prairie as well, just quickly. I was hoping to show you with babies, but as you can see, she is heavily, heavily pregnant, aren't you? You're going to have babies any day. And you're big for even by your scale, aren't you? So I'm expecting at least a couple in there, Prairie. Which will be exciting. I'll be taking lots of pictures then. Baby goats, baby goats. Right, come outside. Now, we have had quite a change round. What we've actually got is all the males are outside on the field. So Oliver, Ramesses, Boris, Guava and Hansel are all out there. But they're running wild at the moment. And then we've moved all the nanny goats and Titan inside. Yeah? Let you get a bit boosted up before we have any babies in February. You all right there, Titan? You all right, Emily? Here's Anastasia. Yeah, and Rihanna on the floor. Everybody's kind of okay, aren't you? Beefing up. Got your hay, got your water. And I keep coming. So in here, we've just mainly got growers. These are sort of raised brooms between seven weeks. And anything up to about 15, 16 weeks. I did leave a few in here from the last turnover. So we've got a mix of all the colours in here. We've got partridge, black, white, lavender, blue splash, painted... No citron chicks because they've just started laying. There's some red chicks in here as well. Ah, and a couple of Siamese. There's actually a really dolly painted hen I spotted in here earlier. She's gonna, she's sat over there. She's got a lot of paint on her. She's going to be going into the painted pen, aren't you, when you're a bit bigger? But she's starting to sit, so I think she's about there. She just stood up there. She's gorgeous, that one. Ah, this one's a cockerel, I'm pretty sure, but you're still nice, aren't you, babe? Little blacks. This is a bit of an awkward age for silkies, this. So they're just sort of starting to develop the nice palms and stuff. It's like an awkward teenage years. But there's still some look absolutely stand out. So if anybody did want growers, we, we don't normally sell them, but we probably could spare them. We've got some, uh, we ordered some eggs off eBay. And they were meant to be Polish eggs. But when they've hatched, they're actually polkies, which is a silky cross with a Polish. So I won't be keeping hold of them. So if anybody was wanting a hen of those, they'll be available. Keep going. It's actually it's quite sunny today. It is a bit cold, but can't really complain because it's drier than it has been. It's been so wet. So if we come here, we've got the black silkies. Now I'll come in and show you because people were wondering. So this is our breeding cockerel. There you are, aren't you, mate? He's quite a little compact bird, but he's got good tail height and stuff. He's got a lovely perfect comb and that. We've got a very pretty black hen. Now there is blacks available. If anybody was wanting some black hens, because I've put some more, there's actually some more in the chicken house there that aren't being brave enough to come out yet. But these are, they're pretty birds. Some of them's a little bit mucky. You've got a bit of a mucky hairdo there, haven't you? But anybody who's clean, you can see they've got big palms, big beards. Nice voluptuous birds, eh? He's pretty, you're very pretty. 
So black's available. They're in Bantam as well. There's one hen in there. She's a little bit bigger than the rest, but... Quick shot of the Brahmas. Not many uh, Brahmas available. The white ones are already all spoken for now, so... I think I've got about seven Brahma hens, but I obviously need to keep a few of those, so I max got two available. I'll show you the whites next. Again, we've been getting a little bit mucky, but this just so we can see the parentage as well. This cockerel can be a little bit aggressive, so I'll just uh, keep my eye on him. There's the whites. So there's whites available. These are uh, Bantam again. Everybody's got nice big palms, blue cheeks, looking good. What are you doing? All European again. So you are Bantam, white silkies, beautiful pommy girls, aren't you? You're a little bit mucky, but you can see they are pretty. Lots of them laying as well now, so all available point of lay, guaranteed hens. I'll come over and show you our Polish. So here's Poofy and your friends and Clyde. We're just going to move these into a different aviary over the next couple of weeks, we've just been saying, because they haven't laid yet and they're about 26 weeks, so I'm concerned whether it's the size of the pen. And I can easily put four or five silkies in here happily. I'm probably going to swap them on with a tall aviary so they can fly. And we've got the partridge. Is that Sammy's not letting anybody out, but that could be because a dog ran in the other day. A dog ran in the front gate. It must have been somebody staying at one of the holiday colleges down in the thing. And uh, Sammy, he did scare it off. The dog ran away. But ever since, he's been cautious letting his hens out. There's a nice one on the door there, though. So you can see that's a partridge hen. There's a partridge cockerel. You all right there? We haven't got any partridge available at the moment. <laughs> We've sold quite a lot recently. We did have quite a few, but I think I'm down to my last six hens. So I've better keep them for laying. I suppose if someone was desperate for one to go with the sort of set, we might be able to do it. I'll see who's in the whites box. Oh, we've got another egg. So yeah, we've got lots of broody hens in here as well. There's plenty of whites available. We'll get that egg while we're on. You all right there, love? Oh yeah. This is a for sale pen. There's quite a few bits and bobs in there. Some of those ones available a little bit cheaper. Maybe the palms aren't quite as big or something like that. Here's the second set of the Siamese. And then the red piles. You are looking good now, aren't you? Let's keep going. I wonder if I've showed you all the... Oh, there's a few more uh, chicks and stuff. I'll tell you the bit, tiny baby chicks. Just keep hold of this egg. So there's blacks, there's whites, there's Siamese, there's a few, there's blue splash, there's uh, some other ones in the for sale pen, and then there's what's in here. Are you crying? Just moved these ones over, so these are literally three days old, these chips. They're three days old? Can't really see when they're under the light, but I don't want to move it, I don't want to get them cold. Little snuggle of them. And then this gold hen, she's not very happy, you can't see her. They're not very happy because she was broody, but she was sitting on some unfertile eggs, so I've had to take them away from her. But you've got lots of little growers. These ones are six, seven weeks. They're just off the light, these ones. Again, you could have some available if somebody needed some. So I'm kind of hoping that I've showed everyone what they might need to see, sort of birds-wise. The paint is round the back, but to be honest, I haven't got any of those available at the moment either. I'm sold out. Just till next year, then there might be a couple in there and there's a few growing up. Shut all the gates behind us. Right, so that was the silkies. Thanks for watching. I'll hopefully post another video soon. It'll either be a snow video or we've got some baby goats. You see, there's Rosedale. So bye from me. Bye from everyone. Thank you.